Hey, what's up guys? My name is Codes, and today I'm going to be teaching you some tips that every MX Bikes player needs to know. First, a quick introduction. I've been playing this game for about two years now, and I've logged over 2,000 hours. So I've got some experience I can share. And in my opinion, this is one of the best motocross games I've ever played. Well, maybe besides those glorious games that we played as kids. I also ride in real life. Well, still kind of learning. I love riding dirt bikes. It's like one of the best things I ever got into. And I still have a lot to improve on, which makes it even more fun. Anyway, on with the video. Okay guys, we're in game now, and I just want to say something. I think I did it. I think I found some really, really good suspension settings. Uh, these ones right here are stock, okay? So, uh, let me just rant a little bit about the stock suspension for the OEM setup, and granted, this is at the current update. I'm speaking of this one is, uh, I think this is 1.18 or 1.17 around there. I don't know. These values right here for default are just, no. I don't know what this is. What is this? I don't know what this is. This is not, no. Anybody who rides in real life and has ever done any suspension work at all knows that, like, if you were to use these numbers in real life, it... it 18 clicks on the slow bump like what 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 is that no 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 and it's not just this bike okay it's not just this cowie all right it's it's across the board all right so all right we're going to we're going to go and I'm going to show you some examples all right so I'm just I, I got some evidence all right I got I got a little a little bit of evidence okay all right hear me out okay so this is on the stock suspension, okay? Alright, so stock suspension, just look at this. So you're automatically at the bottom of the stroke as soon as you land, even a smooth landing like that. So suspension is rebounding at the bottom of the stroke and your bike is essentially always riding on the bottom of the stroke. It's it, it's not it's not how it's supposed to be. All right. So, I'm going to do another comparison here too. Okay, so we're on my suspension settings now and we're going to do the same thing in the previous clip. Same kind of jump. Oh, just look how much better it absorbed that. All right, let's look at that. Oh. Uh, Wild. You can literally see it in action. Like this. Boom. Rebounding to be able to go over the next jump. Look how beautiful that is. Alright, so we're back in game now, and I think it's probably time I actually show you and explain the suspension that I use. Okay, so. We're gonna go to suspension. All right, so these are on the default settings that I was talking about. So, like I was saying, it doesn't matter which bike necessarily, at least in my experience for all this testing, it doesn't matter which track, um, but there is a little variance in what numbers you choose and how you set it up. Okay, so first, um, let me know what you guys think after you try this out, but a little disclaimer. So. These are meant to not be the best suspension settings all around. This is supposed to be a baseline. That's my goal with informing people about this, is that it's just it's just a baseline. Okay, so when you put these settings on, it's not going to be perfect, but what you need to do is go from there depending on the track in the game and the conditions in the game. Okay, so first, what you need to know is the bump. I put that at 9, rebound 8. Preload, 5, go down to oil, 100. Slow bump, 9, fast bump, 1 and a quarter, and then 8 on the rebound, and then 5 on the preload. Alright, so once you have that set up, you click test, and you can save it as a default or whatever. 
And your goal is to get your rear sag near closest to 105, 108, around that area, and your front sag. If you're doing outdoors in the game, you want it around 60. And if you're doing supercross, you want it at like 50. And you can change the front sag just with the preload setting on the front suspension. So not very complicated there. So these numbers look pretty good, okay? So these numbers from top to bottom is what I, I start with. The spring rate seems to be fairly balanced for each bike. Um, you can experiment with that if you want. I haven't found the spring rates to really do all that, really. the Everything else definitely changes it up way better. So these are the suspension settings I actually use. Now when it comes to the variance I was talking about and how this is just supposed to be a default setup, if you're playing a track with 40 people, you need to stiffen it up a little bit. I usually go one click on basically everything. And that's probably the suspension I would run if the track was like super rutted in. And if it's fresh and you're just starting out, you can even soften it up. Go two clicks on each in the other direction. That's kind of what I would run on a softer track setup. Maybe even a little softer than that, depending on what they had the deformation set at and the settings and stuff like that. So the baseline settings that I'm talking about is what the game used to set the the stock everything at. So that's pretty much right here. That's what the game used to have every single bike at back when the bikes felt really good and they felt clean back maybe in 115, 116. Uh, I can't remember which update. But these are the suspension settings that were default for a long time and they worked and I, I think this is a better default setup to start with. Okay, this isn't a perfect, like I said, setup. This is just a default run of the mill, my bike feels weird, I need something to set me back to baseline and then start fine tuning from here. Okay, so let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to show you another example here one second. We're on the stock suspension settings on this bike and we're going to do a little, we're going to do a little experimenting. I don't know what that was. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, like what was that? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Alright, so now we're going to try this jump on my suspension settings. <laughs> Alright. Literally the same thing. It absorbs all of it perfectly. Wow. Okay, so as you, I mean, if you see before, some of those, like, it just, it wasn't right. So, now that, like, everything's set up, like, I'm, I'm kind of shredding on this track a little bit. Like, those default settings just did not vibe for me. But, see, that's the thing is, you know, you gotta, you gotta make sure that it's just your preference, okay? This is all just preference. I'm just describing my preferences, and we're gonna go from there. So, let me know what you guys think about these. Anyway, alright.